All right, we're going to start off this by asking you guys a question. I want to know in the comments below, have you ever had one of those weeks where everything that you touch goes upside down? That's been the week for me. I have had printer trouble, uh, computer trouble, internet trouble, and now I had microphone trouble this morning. So this has been a crazy, crazy week. Wasn't even able to get a video done yesterday because I worked on printers and everything all day long and I've still got ink all in my hands so but we're gonna try to do this video today this is what we're gonna make we're gonna make a little coffee card and it closes with just velcro pieces now you can get these little velcro dots in black if you wanted to do that it opens up and you can have a place here for your sentiment right here you can have a place to put a gift card so then you close it back up and it's just like that and there's a little coffee cup and then there's the little sleeve and it just says thanks you're the best now I designed this myself I drew it out so if there's some mistakes in it I apologize but you could probably uh, if you have a Cricut you can cut one of these off of Cricut I'll try to leave a template below if I can get it done it may not be in this video it may be tomorrow before I can get it done but I'll try to leave a template for you guys so in case you want to do one of these so the very first thing that you're going to need is a piece of cardstock that is 10 inches by four and an eighth and we just scored it in the center at five so we just scored it at five inches that's going to be the base of our little coffee cup now I'm going to take this and run it through my big shot and put the little dots on it like I did here I just have a little embossing folder that has those little dots so I'm going to take it over there and do that if you don't have that that's fine you don't have to do this it still looks just as good now this is my little embossing folder and it is a cuddle bug and it's just the little dots is all in the world it is I use this one more than I use any of them I use a lot but I, I like that one for just simple things like this and see it just puts the little dots on there okay now what you're gonna do is at the bottom you're gonna mark in one half inch so just put your ruler over there to the side and come in one half inch just make a little beauty mark just enough for you to see that's all you need and then we're gonna take our trimmer you're gonna put your card back in this trimmer or you can do this with your scissors it's just easier for me with the trimmer since I got these little dots in there and you're gonna put that little place that you marked on the cut line and then this point up here on the cut line this is gonna make the shape of your coffee cup okay so we're gonna put that place we marked right there and then the point up here just like that right there okay so that is what you have there's the shape of your little coffee cup now all right we're going to lay this aside for just a minute and we're going to do the top this is going to be the little top for the coffee cup this part right here and i made this to be all in one piece instead of having to have two separate pieces i just wanted it to be all in one piece so i could get it done now this top is cut at two and three quarter by four and a half and you're going to score at one and three eighths. Let me see right there. You're going to score at one and three eighths. Okay, then fold and burnish that real well. All right, now again, we're going to take our ruler and on the folded side, this side right here, you're going to, if you have a Tim Holtz ruler, you can do it this way. If not, you can, I'll show you the other way to do it. I'm going to come up from the fold line I'm going to come up five eighths of an inch and then I'm going to come in one half inch and I'm going to mark that I'm just going to mark a little line that side right there just like that and then we're going to turn it around and I'm going to do I'm just going to flip it over so I don't confuse you this is still my fold line so in one half and up five eighths and just make your little line now if you don't have a Tim Holtz ruler that's fine don't worry about it just come in 
one half inch from the side and then turn it to the bottom and you're going to come up five eighths of an inch and you're going to make your little mark and then just draw you a line where you need to cut it out at. So that's our little line. It's in one half and then up five eighths. Okay, now we're going to cut these little pieces out right here. And what you're going to do right here where this line is, instead of going straight down that line, you're going to cut out just a little bit of a notch. So you're going to start past that line up here at the top just a little bit, maybe about that much. Just make a little angle down to that point like that and then straight across. Now if you want the other side to be exactly the same as this one, just take this piece that you cut out right here, flip it over, and then bring it over to this side. And when you do that and cut this out, you're going to have the same exact pattern as you do on the other side. I'm just going to turn it this way and cut it. There we go. So there's our two pieces cut. And then both of our sides look exactly the same. Now what you're going to do is on all these little corners right here, every one of them, you're going to round that corner off just a little bit. So just take, now if you take a, a corner rounder, it makes it too round. So you're going to have to do this with your scissors, unless you have a corner rounder that's different from mine. But I just take it and put my scissors on there and then just roll my paper with the scissors. Okay, and then the same at the top, just kind of roll the paper in there, just cutting just a tiny bit off. You just want it to be a little rounded. You don't want it to be too much. And you can take a little off and look at it and if you need more, then just cut a little more off instead of cutting too much at the beginning, which I have done, believe me. There we go. One more. We're going to take a little bit off of this, the bottom. And then I'm just, I, my, the bottom of mine's just a little bit off, so I'm just going to even it up. It's not going to really matter because one of them's going to be on the front side of the card and the other one's on the back, but it bothers me, so I'm going to even it up. Okay. And I'm just looking at it make sure that it looks about right. I'm going to take that little point right there off. And then I'm going to round this one just a little bit more to make it look more like that other side. There we go. Alright, so that is all you need to do right there. We just rounded those. Now I'm going to lay that aside for a minute. I have a piece of white that is cut at two inches by four and then a piece of teal that is cut at two and a quarter by four. And I'm going to mat those just like that. But first I want to stamp on this one. Now I have two different stamp sets here. One of them is from 49 in Market and this is Gabby's Words and I'm going to use this Thanks right here. And then the other one is for, from Florette Bloom, and it just says, you're the best. And I'm going to use that on there, too. I have my little um, stamp cleaner here. All I do on this is I spray a little bit of the Squeaky Clean from Brutus Monroe on there. And you'll see how good that cleans in just a second. So we're going to use some VersaFine. I'm going to ink this up. And then I'm going to stamp it somewhere about the center. I'm going to line it up. Okay, I decided to stamp it a little bit over to the right because I'm going to put something else right there. So there is thanks, and I'll show you. This is wet in the center, but not wet on the edges. All I do is just rub that across, and look how good that cleans. And then I just dry it on the edges here. Okay, and then we're going to stamp this You're the Best right down under that. And I'm just going to put it right there. There we go. See how nasty that is? Watch. See how clean it is? 
Now these, and I, I just take this and wash it when it gets really nasty. I take it in there and wash it with some soap and water and it's all good. And those little things you can get real inexpensive. And they don't take up much room on your desk. I have a stamp cleaner, a big stamp cleaner, but it takes up so much room on my desk I don't like to use it. So I just as soon use that. It doesn't get any lint on your stamps. It makes it very, very easy. All right, now what we're going to do is mat these. And I'm just going to use some glue. Okay, and so don't forget that in some places it's already getting cold and snowing, so don't forget to get your art glitter glue. When it gets below like 43 degrees, we don't ship it anymore. So now I'm going to put this right there, and what I'm going to do is glue it down, and then I'm going to trim it off to fit. That makes it a lot easier to me, is gluing it down first, then trimming it off. Just decide which one you want to be the front and which one you want to be the back. And I'm going to lay it about right there. And I've got those little dots that I can go by to kind of get it even. Now you will notice when you do some embossing like this, sometimes your glue doesn't want to stick real well. So I just take something and press down on it in that certain area there. Okay, then I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to trim it off. And I'm going to open this up so I can see exactly where I'm trimming there. I don't want to get it too short. So there you go, you've got your sleeve on there. And then we're going to put something right here. And I found this little pumpkin. I like that. I put a pumpkin on that other one, a little orange one. So I found this little pumpkin, and I thought it went well with the back of that paper. And this pumpkin is chipboard. And then I'm just going to take a little brown leaf. And I'm going to stick it up under the pumpkin like that. And then we're just going to take our top here, and you're going to put glue on the one side of it, not both sides, just at the bottom. Just about like that right there. And I put a little extra because, like I said, these dots don't like to stick. So, put a little extra like that. And then you're going to lay this down and just kind of even it up to where you have about the same on both sides right here. So that looks about right right there and then I'd like to just look and make sure I got it even when you fold this top down you can tell if you've got it even and that looks even to me all right then fold that back up and now we're gonna put some velcro dots up here and these are already sticky but this one didn't have a lot of stickiness on it so I'm gonna Put a little bit of sticky on there. And this one has something on it. Okay, and then just peel the back off of those. And then you just want to stick them down to this side. Just like that. And then just lift it up real carefully and make sure that that bottom part stays down there. Then you'll press them down really well. All right, now you can open it up and put the inside pieces on here. Now this piece, I used just this. I just laid this down on a piece of white paper and used it to trim this out. And then I just cut a, shaved a little bit off of it to make it a little bit smaller. That's all I did on this. Keeps you from having to measure so much. Alright, let's see if we can get this pretty well straight on here. And then just press it down well because something about those dots, they don't like to catch that glue. And you can even set something on the top of it if you wanted to, to let it dry. And then I'm going to go over here, and this little strip is just... This strip is an inch and a half by three and a quarter, 
and then I just put it right down here at the bottom and I just glue three sides of it to the short sides and across the bottom and then just lay it right down there and there you go you can put your gift card down in there so a little gift card would slide in there let me grab a piece of this so a little gift card will slide down in there and then you can write all of your sentiment and everything up here and then it closes right back up now you could take your pen and go around the edges of this if you wanted to and dress it up a little bit more I just think that's cute just like it is alright guys that is the tutorial for today I finally got one done now whether it will upload or not I don't know you'll see if this gets uploaded if you're watching it then you know that it got uploaded also I wanted to let you guys know that the card that I did the other day the jar card I do have the PDFs and the F SVG files for those and I will link those below as well as over on the group page so that you can just click on that link and go to them and find you know if you want the PDF or the F SVG I don't know why I keep wanting to say FVG if you want the PDF or the SVG you can go over there and grab which one you want all right we will talk to you guys later thanks so much bye bye